Hey y'all, it's Erica. I'm back for another video. Um, as I just stated in my other uh, video before this one, um, I did have COVID, so it's been a while since I did a long video, and tonight is my first night recording um, back to back. But I want to talk about what do you do when you don't know what to do? What do you do when God is silent? What do you do when you've prayed and asked God for blessings and it seems like nothing is moving? What do you do when you seem as if God doesn't hear your prayer? My question to you is, do you stop praying? No. Stay planted. Stay rooted. Stay in your word. Stay praying. Stay as close as God is, to God as you can. This is a test of your faith. God hears your prayers. He sees your tears. He knows exactly what you're going through, but he wants to know that you have faith in him. He said in his word that we only need faith the size of a mustard seed. So my sister, my brother, if you don't know which way to turn, if you've been praying and asking God to work some things out in your life, this is your sign. Don't give up. Stay planted. Stay rooted. God is going to make a way for you. He's working the situations out behind the scenes. You can't see it right now. But your names are in rooms that you've never stepped in. Your names are in, you know, places that are higher than you ever thought you could go. God will never leave you. He will never forsake you. If you continue to do his word, if you continue to, you know, stay grounded, stay rooted, God is going to make a way for you, y'all. He said, weeping may do it for a night, but joy comes in the morning. God gets absolutely nothing out of seeing you hurt, nothing out of seeing you struggle. He said that he's come so we can have life and have it more abundantly. He said that we are more than conquerors through him who love us. So I encourage you, don't give up, y'all. Keep pushing, keep praying, keep treating people right, keep serving God, keep paying your tithes, keep being a good person. I promise you, God is working things out for your good. All things work together for the good of those who love the Lord. Not some things, y'all, but all things work together. I encourage you, keep pushing. Don't give up. Keep praying. Keep fasting, y'all. Some prayers uh, are only answered by fasting and praying, y'all. So ask God, is there something that he wants you to fast from? Be sincere with God, y'all. Ask God for exactly what you want. God wants us to talk to him just like we talk to our family, just like we talk to our friends. God wants us to talk to him about every situation. I encourage you, my sister, my brother, don't give up. This is your sign to keep going, keep loving God, keep loving people, keep treating people right, and keep trusting in God. Ask God to fill you with the Holy Spirit. He said that he left, but he sent us a comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us. And if you ask God to fill you with the Holy Spirit, y'all, your life will be so much easier because you'll know which direction God wants you to go. And let me tell you this, and this is it. If you're truly, truly sincere about, you know, getting a closer relationship with God, ask God to take anything away from you that's not of him. Let God know you don't want anything if it's not for him. Even if it's something that you really want, but in God, if God don't want you to have it, let him know, Lord, I know what I want, but I want your will to be done in my life. Trust his will. Trust his his, uh, you know, trust this waiting season that he have you in, I promise you, he's going to work those things out for you. He's going to bring it back to you. He's going to give you exactly what you want. Remember, all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord. Keep pushing, my sister and my brother. I pray y'all have a blessed and awesome week. My name is Erica James. I am a certified life coach. So if you know someone who needs life coaching, please DM me, call me, email, text me. However, you can get in contact with me and I will be happy to help you out. Good night. Love y'all.